the second most requested review from the new mission launch, the Mission Komodo GX darts. This is going to be a great review. Here we go. Oh, I missed one. Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. We got a great video for you today. And I want to thank everyone that took part in the YouTube community tab poll. As you see there, the brand new Mission Komodo GX darts came in second place right behind the Mission Makira darts. I just reviewed those a couple days ago, so make sure you check out that video as well. But I tell you what, I think this is going to be a great review because I really like these darts a lot. I ended up buying the straight barrel micro grip version. They also have a few other versions. They have a straight barrel razor grip as well as a curved razor grip and micro grip version. I'm going to have the link for the brand new Mission Komodo darts down in the pinned comment. So you can check them out there as well as all the other stuff from the brand new Mission launch. A ton of goodies. And I really enjoyed that launch. I think it was one of the best ones of the year. But I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's grab the other camera. We'll take a close up look over some stats and dimensions and then to the board we go. I'll give you some feedback as I'm throwing them and hopefully I'll put up some good scores for you today. We'll see how this goes. Here we go. Okay, the brand new Mission Komodo GX straight barrel micro grip darts. And you know, speaking of the name, Mission does call these the Komodo GX, but nowhere on this box does it say anything about a GX. Anyway, just an interesting observation, doesn't really mean anything. But as you see here, it comes in your standard Mission cardboard hand case, but let me get these things opened up and I'll show you what's inside. Well, we've got our Mission Komodo GX barrels there. Looks like an intermediate length Mission Grip Lock stem in the brand new Mission Komodo 100 micron standard size flights. But let me get these things put together and we'll go over some stats and dimensions. Okay, there we go, fully assembled, stock out of the package and Mission has done it once again with another beautiful set of darts. I don't know how this PVD rose gold coating is showing up, but man, it is beautiful. We'll get a close up look at that here in a second. But if you'll notice here, once again, the logos all line up. That's just that little extra attention to detail that Mission does that I love so much. So props to them for that. But running down some stats and dimensions, this is a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in at 50.0 millimeters long. And the barrel width, with these being a straight barrel dart, 6.35 millimeters wide. Now these were advertised as 22 grams. The lightest barrel came in at 22.07 grams. The heaviest barrel, 22.14 grams so it's a little outside of their guaranteed match weighting but again you'll have to take that with a grain of salt because i'm weighing these darts with a very very cheap like a i don't know eight dollar amazon scale so take that for what it's worth but let's get a close-up look at these beautiful barrels okay there we go i figured i'd start you guys off with an ultra close-up look at this beautiful rose gold pvd coating as well as the micro grip that runs for almost the entire length of the barrel and you know what guys these barrels are a lot more grippy than they look but i'm going to get to that in just a second but let me start off by showing you the front end of these barrels the nose cone here we've got a little bit of a lip there and you know i'm not a fan of those where's my no lip gang at but could easily be taken care of with a target storm point a Winmore free flow point or a Harrow's apex point, whatever you prefer to get rid of that lip there. And you know what? These nose cones, they're a little bit more blunt than I prefer. I prefer a tapered nose cone. I guess that's a bull nose cone. But, you know, whatever you prefer with your barrels, that's up to you guys. But, you know, like I said, I prefer a little bit more tapered nose cone. But as far as the grip here in these micro grip that runs almost the entire length of the barrel, it kind of feels like the Target Nano Grip only on steroids. So because of that, I'm gonna give these a level four grip on a scale of one to five. What do you say we get these things on the board? And we're gonna see how they throw. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Just a few throws with a brand new Mission Komodo GX starts. As you see there, we've got my own Cosmo Stem and Flight setup on there. They were flying much, much better for me in warmups with my own setup. So we'll go with that. As far as the grip goes, you know, it's a straight barrel micro grip dart, so it doesn't matter where you grip these things, front, middle, rear, it's all the same throughout the entire length of the barrel. But I do want to talk about the grip on these darts. I'm kind of second guessing myself, to be honest. I know in the review, hey, nice one for you there. I know in the review I said they were a level four grip, right? And the reason I gave them that rating was because they were sticking to my fingers. This micro grip is so aggressive, it just sticks right to my fingertips. So that's why they got a level four rating, but 
now that I'm warming up with them and throwing them for a bit, I am getting a clean release. So I, you know, I'm not really sure what to rate these things. But man, they're flying dead straight. And look at that. Pre-boom. Get in there. I will take that. You know, obviously they weren't flying that well during warm-ups, but right now, man, they're going dead straight. Great combination here for me with a smaller flight, just because I've had dartitis in the past. But, there's a 60 to back it up with. Oh, silver points, you see that? Silver points, they kind of come out of the board a little too easy for my liking. I would go with some... I would definitely go with some specialty points, and I think it would transform the entire front end of these barrels. But yeah, the grip, I'm actually kind of curious to see what other reviewers say about these darts. I mean, it, it could be like a level three grip. I mean, if your hands are, are really soft. You know, of course, I've got the old power lifter chewed up calloused hands. So anything that's really grippy tends to stick to my fingertips, which I'm not a fan of. But, overall, what a great dart, too, and I'm not, sure well how, um, I'm not sure how well my camera picked up this rose gold coating, but it is so beautiful, in person, anyway. Just awesome darts. Really love them, and as you see there, that little quick example, I think that was five turns. They're throwing incredibly well. I could definitely see myself using these. I wish they were a couple grams lighter for my own personal use, but what a great, great set of darts. Well, anyway, guys, I do have one more clip for you. You know what's coming. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, that's tail down. That's ground down. Ah. Oh. 120 with a bounce out. No. Oh, here we go. Oh, can I redeem myself? Huh? Yeah. Boom! Whoops, did it. That last one was tight over there. There we go. In the left hand corner there, pinned. Now pinned in the right-hand corner. Well, there it is, guys. I'm gonna end the video there, but I hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the brand new Mission Komodo GX darts. And hey, I'm gonna run another poll. We've got four sets of Mission darts left to review. So I'm gonna run one more poll in, the, in my uh, YouTube community tab. So go vote on what darts you wanna see me review next. What do we got? We got the Paradox, the Chiron, the Spiro, Spiro? in the Anza, the brass Anza darts. So go to the poll, vote on which ones you want to see me review next. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below and on the way out the door. Thumbs up. Always appreciate those. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.